Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, today we'll go through a really slow and soothing flow, perfect for the evening. Um, I personally feel like I'm really needing some gentle movement, some uh, soft, slow stretches, uh, something soothing. So uh, that's the reason for this flow uh, and I hope you enjoy it. So we'll start uh, lying on our backs actually. So you can find your way lying down on your mat. And then we'll bring our knees in towards the chest. And you can wrap your arms around the shins, around the knees. See where it feels good. And then you can start to gently rock from side to side. Just gently massaging the lower back into the mat. And taking slightly deeper breaths as you arrive into this space, into your practice, into your own body. Starting to feel into any tense areas of the body. Maybe guiding the breath there to start to soften. We're then going to reach our feet towards the ceiling, our knees towards the mat and come into a happy baby pose. So you can grab, depending on uh, how flexible you're feeling right now, you can either grab a hold behind the knees, you can grab the ankles, the outside edges of the feet, perhaps the big toes with your peace fingers and see if you can ground your shoulders onto the mat. So if you feel like it feels a bit difficult. See if you can bring your hands a little bit lower down. We don't want to be reaching up through the shoulders. So allow the shoulders to relax towards the mat. A gentle organic opening for the hips and for the inner thighs. And then see if you can also ground the lower back towards the mat. So bringing length into the spine. We'll take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you can release your left leg all the way onto the mat. We'll reach the right leg up towards the ceiling. You can start to straighten it out. You can keep a micro bend in the knee. See what feels good here. And then you can either hold on to the leg behind the thigh, perhaps around the calf. Maybe you reach for the ankle or the toes. Gently pulling the leg towards you and here as well, we'll try to keep the spine long and the shoulders melting down. Take an inhale. Then as you exhale, we'll start to bend through the left knee and cross the right ankle over the knee. Then we'll start to reach up through the legs so that you can wrap your hands behind the left thigh or maybe over the shin. So coming into this figure four pose where we target the right glute. And if you want to, you can press the right knee away with your right elbow to get a bit more opening into that hip. And we keep breathing. For one more inhale. And then as you exhale, you can release the left foot back onto the mat. We'll open our arms into a T shape and then cross the right leg all the way over the left as if you were sitting cross-legged. And then we'll drop the legs over to the left. Now you can turn your gaze towards the right. Grounding both shoulders towards the mat if you can. And then guiding the knees as close to the mat on the other side as you can. Keep breathing. Maybe every exhale drops you a little bit deeper into this stretch, into this twist. Taking a deep inhale in. And then return to center as you exhale. 
We're going to unravel the legs and then switch them around so that the right leg straightens out and then the left leg reaches up towards the ceiling. So grabbing a hold behind the thigh, behind the shin, wherever feels good for you. Then we gently pull the leg towards us. Remember, you can always keep a slight bend in the knee if it feels difficult to straighten the spine. We'd rather have a long spine than a, a straight, a completely straight leg. So just keeping that in mind. And we take an inhale. And then exhale, we start to bend through the right knee, crossing the left ankle over the knee and then hugging the legs towards you. So grab a hole behind the thigh, over the shin, and then gently pull the legs towards you. We try to melt the shoulders down as much as we can in each of these positions. Take an inhale. And then exhale, release the right foot onto the mat and we cross the left leg over. Arms can come into that T-shape and then we drop the legs over to the right. And then the gaze can turn over to the left. Releasing down, allowing the shoulders the knees, the hips to release lower. And final inhale. And then exhale, come back to center. Now unraveling both legs. We're gonna keep the feet planted. You can bring your arms by your sides. The feet can be quite close to the sitting bone so you can just reach them with your fingertips. We're going to press down through the palms, grounding down through the feet and then pushing the hips up into a bridge pose. Maybe you walk the shoulders underneath the upper body, interlace the fingers behind the lower back and push down through the heels to reach up through the hips. Take an inhale. And then release back down onto the mat as you exhale. We'll hug the knees in towards the chest once again. And this time we'll start to rock back and forth. The full length of the spine, finding our way into a seat, maybe with the third round. You can scoot back a little bit. We're going to straighten the legs out in front of us, reaching up through the arms, inhale. And then as you exhale, fold over the legs. See if you can find length in the lower back. As you inhale, pull the shoulders back. And then exhale, fold over the legs. Take a few deep breaths here. Lengthen through the back side of the body. Turning inwards as you find this forward fold. Final breath in. And then as you exhale, you can roll the spine back up into a seat. We're going to bring our feet in. So you can bring the sole of the feet basically together, knees opening out to the sides. And then you can give yourself a little push and come into this version of a squat, of a malasana. So your feet are together, the toes spreading out on the mat. And then see if you can thread your hands towards the heels and come into this little ball over your legs. So you can tuck your chin towards the chest, rounding through the spine, opening out through the knees. Your elbows can rest on the mat. That might give you a bit more support. Good. 
take an inhale. And then exhale, you can push onto your hands. We'll push the hips up, coming into a forward fold. We lengthen as we inhale, long spine, long back of the neck, and then exhale, fold over the legs. We'll do that again. Inhale, length, and exhale, fold over. We'll keep the right foot rooted and step the left foot back into a low lunge position. If you're too far back, you can always scoot forward so that you feel a nice stretch in the left hip flexor, reaching your chest towards the top of the mat. We'll then inhale, reaching up through the arms, coming into an Anjaniyasana. Inhaling and exhaling here, getting space in the hips. Take one more breath. And then you can bring your hands back down onto the mat. We'll bring both hands onto the inside of the right foot and then start to open the right foot out to the side. So you come into a lizard pose. The toes, the knee can both slightly point out so you get that opening here in the inner thigh. You can tuck the left toes under, lift the knee off if you like, or keep everything rested on the mat. And then you can also always find your way lower down onto your forearms, making the stretch a little bit more intense. Staying here for a few more breaths. Really sinking in towards the hips. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, come back onto the palms. If you go on your forearms, we'll tuck the left toes under. You can walk the right foot in a little bit and then simply step the left foot forward. Into that forward fold over the legs. Inhaling, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold over. Then stepping the right foot towards the back of the mat, grounding the knee down. Reaching forward through the chest, length, and drop down through the hips. We'll then inhale, coming all the way up into that low lunge position. Reach up through the arms, drop down through the hips. And then squaring through the hips too. So pulling the right hip forward, left side back, inhale. And then exhale, we're going to drop our hands down onto the mat and open the foot out to the side. Now you can take any of the variations that we went through on the other side. So you might wanna lift the knee up. That often makes it a bit more intense, especially for the right hip flexor. You can keep the knee on the mat, maybe come down onto the forearms. See what feels best. And once you settle into that lizard pose, See if you can tap back into the breath. See if you can find that connection between the movement, the breath, the mind, becoming really present in this moment, in this space, in this specific asana. We'll take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, come back onto the palms. If you are on your forearms, we'll tuck the right toes under, this time stepping into a downward facing dog. We won't have lots of down dogs in today's practice. Just this one to open up through the upper body, the spine, the backs of the legs. So see if you can really ground the palms fully towards the mat. Maybe aiming the heels towards the mat too. Perhaps keeping a bend in the knees to guide the sitting bones higher up. Making this down dog really stretchy, really juicy. One more inhale here. 
And then exhale. You can release your knees onto the mat. We'll cross the ankles, sitting back over them, bringing the soles of the feet together, and then finding a stretch here, a forward fold. So the knees start to open out to the sides, the soles of the feet together. And then see if you can ground down the sit bones as you fold forward. Maybe feeling this in the inner thighs. Perhaps you feel something in the glutes or the lower back. Stopping, taking a moment here, a few breaths. Then rolling the spine back up. Going to scoot forward a little bit since we're going to find our way onto our backs. You can reach your arms forward and then vertebra by vertebra, find your way onto your back. So still keeping the soles of the feet together, knees opening out to the sides, we end up in a Supta Parakonasana. Starting to melt towards the mat. You can bring one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your heart center. As you start to release through the entire body, through every muscle, through every joint. And taking a moment here, resting. Allowing the body to fully relax fully soften, becoming really aware of the points of your body that are touching the mat and feeling the heaviness of your body as it melts down, as gravity pulls you in, and then just surrendering to it. Take a full breath in through the nose, fill the lungs up, and then open the mouth, sigh the air out. You can release your hands and maybe with the help of the hands, bring the knees back in. We're going to turn onto one side, and then from there, when you're ready, you can push back up, into a seat. See if you can still keep the eyes closed for a moment. Staying in that really soft, present, aware space. And then when you feel ready, you can bring your hands to heart center. We'll take one final big inhale in through the nose. And then open the mouth, sigh the air out. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope these uh, gentle stretches are soothing for you. I for sure feel quite relaxed right now. Um, if you enjoy practicing with me, I'm here every Thursday, so you can always come back every week for a new class. Uh, please subscribe to the channel so that you get notified about the new flows. Um, I hope I see you here next week. Thank you.